The former Director General of the BBC has resigned from his current role as Director of the UK National Gallery following a report into the bombshell 1995 interview with Princess Diana. Lord Hall ran the network's news and current affairs at the time and was singled out for criticism in the report. There's more pressure building on the BBC as Princess Diana's brother Earl Spencer asks UK police to look again at whether any criminal behaviour was involved. Lord Hall was one of those most heavily criticised. His investigation into Martin Bashir and the fake documents described as woeful. Now, after calls that the former Director General stepped back from public life, he's resigned from his post as chair of the National Gallery. Chris Blackhurst was one of the journalists that the BBC lied to after he asked if Bashir had told Diana she was being spied on. There's no way that um, Lord Hall could have carried on as chairman because I think I'm right in saying that the Prince of Wales is patron of the National Gallery and that would really be, really be compromising for him. Um, and whatever he did as chairman of the gallery, every time he did anything or the gallery did anything, questions about... Martin Bashir and the Princess of Wales would always be asked, so it was impossible. But Hall's apology doesn't go far enough for those who believe this has raised serious questions about how the BBC is governed. No one is bigger than the organisation, and they need to ensure that when they do actually, uh, uh, when, when they do actually put things forward, that the editorial policy unit actually has a real say and real clout so that it withhold, withstands or sorry, withholds the, um, uh, the, the standards that you'd expect of our leading public service broadcaster. Some who worked at the most senior levels within the corporation agree this is a time to look inward. There was a systemic failure as well as an individual failure and correcting that is important for the individual, for the staff involved in the BBC, but it's of course terribly important for the audience and the licence fee payer. For Diana's brother, Lord Spencer, it's the Met Police he now wants to act. We understand he's again written to the force demanding they look further into the fake bank statements used by Bashir to deceive him. He also alleges Diana was a victim of blackmail and fraud. It has brought back painful memories for Diana's family. Prince William, representing the Queen as Lord High Commissioner of the Church of Scotland, unexpectedly spoke about the difficult days around Diana's death. I was in Balmoral when I was told that my mother had died. Still in shock, I found sanctuary in the service at Crathy Kirk that very morning. And in the dark days of grief that followed, I found comfort and solace in the Scottish outdoors. I'm told that Prince William is going to continue working with the BBC on certain projects, but he has made it very clear that he never wants that interview with his mother to be shown again. And in some way, he wants the BBC to try and correct that false narrative that he says it portrayed for so many years. The interview sparked a chain of events that rocked the monarchy. The Queen, visiting HMS Queen Elizabeth, has, of course, in recent years, weathered other difficulties. This time, her family and her institution are not under attack, but through painful memories, are still feeling the repercussions. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News, in Edinburgh.